This eBuddy snippet will go over the first steps of eBuddy. We highly recommend you complete these steps before the start of the initial order period on January 17th. In this video, we will review logging into eBuddy for the first time, creating your password, updating your contact info, how to opt out of cookie rewards, and where to view your troop roster. Let's begin with your initial eBuddy login. On January 9th, you will receive your eBuddy launch email from Little Brownie Baker. Click the link in the email to create your password for this year. You'll want to follow this process even if you have logged into eBuddy in past years. Be advised that the link in your launch email will expire after seven days. eBuddy launch emails will only be sent to approved Troop Cookie liaisons. This means you are an approved GSHPA volunteer, you have submitted your Troop Cookie liaison agreement form, and you have attended or viewed a Troop Cookie liaison training. If you can't find your launch email or the link in your email has expired, Visit cookieportal.littlebrowning.com and click the Forgot Password link to set up your login information for this year. Once you click the link in your eBuddy email, you will be prompted to create a password. This will be the password you use for future logins, so make sure it is something you can easily remember. After you create your password, you will have access to your eBuddy account. The default page, or your dashboard, is where you will see an overview of the troop information. From here, go to the Contacts tab to make sure your contact information is listed correctly. If you need to make any updates, click the Edit button and then the blue Update Contact Information button. You'll be required to enter your eBuddy password to make any changes to your contact info. Once you are done, click Update Profile to save your changes. Now we will go through how to opt out of cookie rewards. If your troop has girls who are at the junior level or older, your troop is eligible to opt out of rewards and earn additional proceeds. To opt your troop out of rewards, go to the Settings tab in eBuddy. Click the Edit Settings button at the top of the screen and check mark the opt out of rewards for additional proceeds. Scroll down to the bottom of the page and click the update button to save your changes. Finally, you'll want to make sure all the girls assigned to your troop are showing an eBuddy. Click the girl tab to review the list of girls in your troop. If you are unsure of who is in your troop, reach out to the troop leader to request a complete roster of girls. Remember, the troop roster in eBuddy should show every girl that is in your troop even if they are not participating in the cookie program. Your troop's per girl average number will not be affected by the girls who do not make sales. If a girl needs transferred into or out of your troop, please reach out to your membership associate as soon as possible. You will need to let them know which troop the girl is coming from or which troop they need to be transferred to. If a girl is not registered for this membership year, she will not be showing an eBuddy. Your eBuddy account is now ready for the 2019 cookie program. Don't forget additional cookie resources can be found at www.gshpa.org. Go to the Cookie tab and click on For Cookie Volunteers to get training resources and more eBuddy snippets.